The RMS Titanic is perhaps one of the most iconic and tragic stories in modern history. Launched in 1912, it was the largest and most luxurious ocean liner of its time, and was touted as unsinkable. However, on its maiden voyage across the Atlantic, disaster struck, and the Titanic collided with an iceberg and sank, taking over 1,500 lives with it. The Titanic was built by the White Star Line, and was intended to be the flagship of their transatlantic passenger fleet. At the time, ocean travel was a popular and important means of transportation, particularly for those traveling between Europe and North America. The Titanic was designed to cater to the needs of these wealthy and influential passengers, offering luxurious accommodations and a range of onboard amenities, including a swimming pool, a gymnasium, and even a squash court. The ship was constructed over the course of three years, and was finally launched in May of 1911. It was an impressive sight, measuring over 880 feet long and 175 feet tall, and featuring four huge funnels, two of which were purely for show. The Titanic was also equipped with the latest and most advanced safety features of the time, including watertight compartments and a double-bottomed hull, which were intended to prevent the ship from sinking in the event of a collision. The Titanic departed from Southampton, England, on April 10, 1912, bound for New York City. On board were over 2,200 passengers and crew members, including some of the most prominent and wealthy people of the era. Among them were millionaires like John Jacob Astor and Benjamin Guggenheim, as well as famous figures like Molly Brown and Isidore Strauss, who co-owned Macy's department store. The voyage began smoothly, with the Titanic cruising across the Atlantic at a steady pace. However, on the night of April 14, disaster struck. At around 11.40 p.m., the ship struck an iceberg, causing a massive gash along its side. Although the Titanic was equipped with watertight compartments, the damage was too extensive, and water began to flood the lower levels of the ship. The crew quickly sprang into action, attempting to contain the damage and evacuate the passengers. However, there were several factors that worked against them. Firstly, there were not enough lifeboats on board to accommodate all of the passengers and crew, as it was assumed that the ship was unsinkable and therefore did not need to carry enough lifeboats for everyone. Additionally, the crew had not been properly trained in emergency procedures, and there was confusion and chaos as they attempted to organize the evacuation. As the water continued to rise, panic set in among the passengers. Some attempted to force their way onto the lifeboats, while others simply jumped into the freezing water. The crew worked tirelessly to launch as many lifeboats as possible, but in the end, only 20 were launched, and many of them were not filled to capacity. The Titanic sank at 2.20 a.m. on April 15, just over two hours after it had struck the iceberg. Over 1,500 people lost their lives in the disaster, making it one of the deadliest peacetime maritime disasters in history. The survivors were picked up by the Carpathia, which had been summoned to the scene by wireless distress signals sent out by the Titanic. In the aftermath of the disaster, there was widespread outrage and grief. The Titanic had been touted as unsinkable, and its tragic sinking shattered this illusion. Many blamed the White Star Line for not providing enough lifeboats or properly training the crew, while others blamed the lack of regulations governing the construction and operation of passenger ships. The sinking of the Titanic also had a significant impact on maritime safety regulations. In the wake of the disaster, numerous changes were made to improve the safety of passenger ships. The International Convention for the Safety of Life at Sea was established in 1914, which set new standards for ship construction, safety equipment, and crew training. Lifeboat capacity requirements were increased, and radio communication protocols were standardized to ensure that distress signals could be quickly and efficiently transmitted. Additionally, the disaster led to the creation of the International Ice Patrol, which monitors icebergs in the North Atlantic and issues warnings to ships. The Titanic had been sailing in an area known for its dangerous ice fields, but there had been no official warnings of icebergs in the area at the time of the collision. 
The International Ice Patrol was established to prevent such tragedies from occurring again. The sinking of the Titanic also had a profound cultural impact. The tragedy captured the public's imagination and inspired countless books, films, and songs. The story of the Titanic has become a symbol of hubris and human fallibility, and has served as a cautionary tale about the dangers of technological overconfidence. One of the most enduring aspects of the Titanic story is the human element. The passengers and crew on board the Titanic came from a range of backgrounds and represented different cultures, classes, and aspirations. The stories of those who perished, as well as those who survived, are a reminder of the fragility and value of human life. In recent years, there has been renewed interest in the Titanic and its legacy. In 1985, the wreck of the Titanic was discovered on the ocean floor, and numerous expeditions have been undertaken to study and document the site. The wreck has also become a subject of controversy, as some have argued that it should be preserved as a historical monument, while others have called for the retrieval of artifacts and the salvage of the ship's remains. Overall, the sinking of the Titanic remains a powerful and haunting reminder of the risks and consequences of human ambition and technological progress. The disaster has left an indelible mark on our collective memory, and continues to captivate and fascinate people around the world.